Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing this eye look as I am shook using this eye palette. So anyways, this eye palette is amazing. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 because it was only $10. I bought this off Hush Cosmetics. This is kind of a lime crime dupe and after using this, I don't know that I would buy the lime crime. I just wait until Hush came out or let me see, Ocalon came out with a dupe because it is that good. So there's eight colors in this palette, eight. So basically that's like $1.25 for each color. You're gonna see me do some swatches. You're gonna see me put together this eye look. They did not skip. They blended well. They just look pretty. I love the cohesiveness of this palette. It is very gorgeous. The palette in itself, it's a hard cardboard. So not a flimsy cardboard and it comes with this little mirror on the inside try not to kill you with that uh, flashback from the mirror so anyways i am absolutely off the hook shocked and amazed at this palette i you know for ten dollars i was like okay i'll buy a couple of these from hush cosmetics and just see kind of how they do wow I, I'm beyond stunned. Um, I was not expecting this quality out of a $10 product. So y'all, if you have not shopped on Hush Cosmetics or looked at some of these knockoffs, so to speak, you need to go there. You need to go there. I, I'm just absolutely shocked and amazed. I'm, I'm beside myself with excitement. I'm not even sure what to say about this product other than it's a 10 out of 10 for $10. Oh my gosh, you guys, please stay tuned and watch how I blended these products, how easy it was to use. I did use all eight because that's what I do when I start playing with colors. I'm like, ooh, let's try another color. Ooh, let's layer this color. So this eye look did use all eight. You don't have to use all eight, obviously. I just wanted to see how well they blended, how they did, etc. So I used two of the colors on the lower lash line the rest of six up top and that's how I created this eye look. So if you wanted to see this and how well these do because you need to use your $10 on these palettes, stay tuned. All right, good morning. We are going to use this eye palette. I bought it from Hush Cosmetics. Whoo, Hush. It's from Ocalon. I probably totally butchered that name. But you know how good I do at butchering names. Anyhow, good morning, everyone. So my husband is out of town for two weeks. I've got two houses with two sets of animals to take care of. It's super, super early and I'm not ready. All right. Well, these pat this Ocalon, this is a matte eyeshadow palette and it reminds me of the Lime Crime palettes. So this one I don't have a dupe for Lime Crime, so we are just going to get in and start playing with it. So I'm going to use the color Divine for my transition color. And how do you guys like my bright orange lips? <laughs> so this was from the Ofra Nikki Tutorials collection. I didn't think it was going to be as bright as it is because I order everything online and online it looks a little more muted. It's pretty bright. Which on one hand, kind of exciting. On the other hand, I don't know, we may have to tone it down a bit. We'll wait till we get my eyes done and then we'll tell if we're going to tone it down. Okay, so that's a pretty color. And since I have orange on the lips, it only makes sense to deepen that crease transition color with this one called Rebirth. Palette is really pretty as far as colors go. And I think I only paid like $10 for this. I need to go back and check. But for $10, ladies, we might have 
the new products to buy. I don't think I can get over this lip color to finish my eyes, but I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. I'm not gonna get sidetracked. You know that I can get sidetracked. <laughs> All right, let's see this color here called Creation. Oh, that's a pretty color too. What I like about this palette here is that it's got colors that really blend, not just blend well together, sorry. Well, color wise, for those eyes, they blend well for sight. They're just, they're a little bit different shades, a little bit different tones, but they're distinct enough to make a different look with each one, but then they just cohesive. I was talking about this in one of my other videos. Don't know when it's gonna be released, but what drives me nuts sometimes with palettes is they put colors in there and they're just kind of thrown in there, almost like they really didn't think about how to put them in. So then you have this like hot mess and some people are intimidated. They want to be able to see what colors to put together. So when these companies just kind of throw in colors randomly, it makes it hard for for consumers that aren't comfortable putting together colors to put together colors so this one just didn't seem that way these are just really pretty just very very pretty i think i'm gonna pick up the color icon Shocker. So yeah, it's kind of crazy. My husband's gone for two weeks. I am, he did, he, you guys know, he always brings me coffee in the morning and orange juice. And I mean, he's just absolutely adorable to me. Not bad for 17 years of marriage, right? But anyways, he, he took an extra empty canister and he put like the, filter for the coffee and then he put how many scoops go in it so he did it for the whole time he's gone so i don't even have to think i just pull out a filter throw it in and be done i mean come on now how awesome is that <laughs> mostly because he knows i make horrible coffee let's be honest i do make horrible coffee i don't understand why one of the easiest things to put together is absolutely the most horrible for me to put together <laughs> i mean whatever but let me tell you his coffee is awesome so even though he's gone i'm still getting his wonderful coffee i mean how great is that and he's so worried about me are you gonna be okay you gotta take care of both houses you've gotta because i i do have a regular job this is my this is my hobby it's like, Rob, I can do this. I can do this. I just have to get up way early. But I do love how he worries about me. Who doesn't want to be worried about or thought about? But he's in Vegas for two weeks. Both of us have family that live in Vegas. So he is going to be spending time with my grandfather, which that means so much to me because I absolutely adore my grandfather. We have so much fun talking on the phone. Oh my gosh. And if you guys, I wish you guys could hear his laugh. His laugh is contagious. Absolutely contagious. He is so cute. And he has got twisted humor also. And anyone that knows me knows that I love to laugh at everything. Well, Duh, guess where I got it from. Okay, so we're gonna use a little bit of Aura on a flat brush, a little flat fluffy brush, just for this first part of the semi-cut crease. And then I'm gonna pick up this color Shell on that same brush. Because I basically didn't wanna go in too far with the Shell and just have Oh, I wouldn't have had. Okay. 
I was worried that the shell would be kind of too dark to do the cut crease, but that's actually kind of pretty. I am really impressed with this palette. Y'all, if, come on now, we, we all need to get into some Hush Cosmetics a lot more. Where have they been all my life? Wow. Okay, these Hush Cosmetics are, are pretty stinking good. I like them. I like them a lot. Okay, so for the under eye, I'm trying to debate what I want to do on the inner waterline. May just need to do a little bit of black on the inner waterline. So original. Ground, groundbreaking. Groundbreaking. Now what I want to do is kind of a mix, I guess you could say. Shocker, right? So basically, by the time I finish this eye look, I will have used all eight colors, which is kind of fun. No lies, no lies. We're gonna pick up this color Venus on that fluffy brush. And we're gonna go in for about the inner half of the eye. All right, let's take it all the way. How about that? Got in a little too far there. All right, now I'm gonna take the color Muse, which is this reddish color here. And we're gonna go Maybe the outer third, outer one third. Kind of push that up into, what color was that? Icon. Kind of going on the edge of that icon and then flicking it in. All right. I really, really like this eyeshadow palette. Go figure. I think I am going to tone down this orange lip because I just, well, it keep, it is coming off on my coffee mug. Y'all know I hate that. Oh, I hate that. I like lipsticks that dry down, so I'm kind of disappointed. So I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Metallic Lipstick. This is in the color, my two lips are sealed. How cute is that? Oh, that's got a nice doe foot applicator. Ooh. And I like that metallic. Oh, mommy likes. Okay, I'm gonna pick back up the Marc Jacobs, and this is in the blacker that I used on the inside of the waterline. We're gonna go ahead and do the upper eyelash line. Basically, I didn't want a really defined eye look there. I just wanted it kind of a little thicker and smudgy, not perfect. I think I achieved that. Okay, so now we're gonna take the Marc Jacobs because I love me some Marc Jacobs mascara and this is in the color Noir. Really like the fact that, um, I mean, wild animal print. What I do like about the Marc Jacobs mascara is basically I'm finishing up one coat of mascara on top and look at how I've got eyelashes. And in typical Amy fashion, we got a big blob right there. Pretty, huh? Hmm. Okay, so this is the finished look. I, once again, am absolutely stoked, excited. Um, what's the newer generation's word? I'm shook, except I don't think they do. I'm shook. I really, really like Hush Cosmetics, and I have a feeling I'm gonna be on their website doing more so let's even though i used all eight colors let's go ahead and do some swatchy swatchies um so we have the color venus shell aura and creation i'm horrible at swatches let's start down here Boop. so you can see the swatches there let me get out a wet wipe and then we're gonna pick up the color Icon, Rebirth, Divine, and Muse. And we're gonna put those right next to them. I mean, the swatches came out really great. I love, love the colors. This one looked a little patchy right there. Maybe that one looks a little patchy. But to be honest with you, um, that, that's why I really don't like swatches, to be honest with you. I'm not a fan of swatching. 
mostly because I don't think it gives a fair interpretation of the actual product of when you put it on your eye and and my swatching is a perfect example the swatches came out really pretty but it's all right but look how it did on the eye to me that's where the rubber meets the road and to be honest with you I'm if I would have done my swatches first I, I probably would have been a little intimidated by this thinking oh my gosh it's gonna be so hard to mix and put together and all that kind of great stuff it's not so for any of you ladies that haven't shopped on Hush Cosmetics to um, and look at Okalon Matte Eyeshadow, you really need to try this. $10. You can afford $10, ladies. You can afford $10. This is amazing. So again, this is a dupe, I believe, of Lime Crime. I don't have the actual Lime Crime palette to put next to it, but... I don't know that I would buy the Lime Crime palette now because of this one. The, the eyeshadows go on, they're soft, they're buttery, they blend well. I mean, you guys got to see me use it. What more is there to say? I mean, this is amazing. So anyways, I, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it or you have any questions, please put those comments below. I, if you haven't subscribed or you have a friend that might enjoy my strange humor, please uh, uh, subscribe or send me to your friend. I would love to have them added to my little YouTube channel because I love interacting with the YouTubers that I have. Um, the audience is absolutely wonderful and I really, really do appreciate all my friendships that I've gained from this channel. It's just... There's some wonderful, wonderful ladies worldwide that I've just enjoyed talking to. And you men have been very supportive also. And I want to say thank you also to, to you men. So anyways, um, that's it for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments on this palette. So anyways, put those Hello, below. my name is Amy Ecker. Welcome to my channel. So today I am doing my first review from a product I got on Hush Cosmetics and wow wow that's all i gotta say um on a scale of one to ten this palette is a 10 and i only spent ten dollars on it no lie so i have used all eight different colors in here and you're gonna see some swatches at the end of the video but you're gonna get a chance to see me use this palette for ten dollars for real this uh, the palettes or the pan sizes are a good size and the eyeshadows are kind of a creamy consistency they go on well they don't skip they blend well i just had a great time putting together this this video or this look so you're going to kind of see me continue to be amazed because you're looking at basically a little over a dollar per pan and again so you're looking at a dollar quarter per eyeshadow who doesn't like a dollar quarter per eyeshadow and it comes in this cute package it is of a cardboard consistency but it's hard so i like that and it comes with a cute little mirror on si inside so i have to make sure i'm not blinding y'all um but totally amazing. I really, really liked this product. And my understanding is it is a dupe of one from Lime Crime. Now, I haven't, I don't have the one that is the actual Lime Crime colors with these eight. But you know what? I don't need to purchase the ones from Lime Crime after using this palette for $10. What's that? What's the new way of saying something? I'm shook. I'll actually use that in this video. I'm shook. This palette is fantastic. So if you want to see how I created this eye look using this palette for $10, wow. Stay tuned.